Well, it's been enforced for quite some time, but now it's a policy. Horse buyers, sellers, and anyone who hopes to do business at New Holland sales stables are no longer allowed to take pictures or video inside the stables. News 11's Holly Herrer is live in the studio with more. Holly. Shannon, what was assumed to be a rule of thumb has become an issue for the owners at New Holland Sales Stables. Now battling growing technology, particularly smartphone capabilities, the popular animal auction is now prohibiting any video or photography on their property at any time. Now we weren't allowed in with our camera, obviously, but we did speak with some regulars on the change. When you approach the New Holland Sales Stable, you're confronted with this sign on the main doors, stating no video or photography is permitted. This comes after many horse buyers and sellers have expressed complaints that footage showing up online could be misinterpreted. I don't care for being cruel to the animals or anything like that, and I've never seen anything here that's made me uncomfortable. Most foot traffic comes from Amish and Mennonite community members who support the new policy. They don't want it, they don't want it, so mm -hmm. they support the barn more than pretty much anybody else here does, so I feel it's a good thing. Max Hodnett hails from New York and comes to New Holland to buy horses for his carriage company. He says he understands the possibilities for misunderstanding and why they're taking the extra steps. Sure, it could be edited to make it look like they did something to the animal to make it go down, but a down cow is a down cow, and if it's, you know, that's the way it is in the farming, it's... It's normal, you know, a cow can go down and if it's down here, they can edit it, make it look like they did something to, to cause that. The owners did not comment on camera, but did give us this statement. We just want to keep it business as usual. As long as we don't see any videotaping or photography, we won't have a problem. If we do see those things, we will have to ask that person to stop. And if they refuse, they will be asked to leave. We don't want a major issue, so hopefully everything goes well. Holb, who gave that statement, also said the policy does not permit photography of the animals before or after they go through auction. Many animal welfare advocates are speaking out on Facebook in opposition, but signs are already in the works to be made and posted to officiate the enforcement. Live in studio, Holly Herrer, News 11.